Grade 3 Math, number 110, Flat-Shaped Planes. We talked about 2D and 3D in our last video. What's a flat pl plane shape? Well, it's shapes that are on one plane. Not plane, which means not fancy. That's P-L-A-I-N. This kind of plane means a level. There's no height to a sheet of paper. It's on one plane. A 3D object is on another plane it, because it has height to it. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the flat-shaped planes. All right? A square has four sides, and it's flat, and it's a flat plane shape. A triangle that's flat, like this, has three sides. One, two, three. A pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. And a circle, well, believe it or not, a circle has an infinite amount of sides. Yeah, we'll discuss that in a future video, but a circle is actually an infinite number of tiny little sides that you can't see because there's 360 angles around a circle. Now, a hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hex means six. An octagon has eight sides. Octo means eight, like an octopus has eight legs or eight arms. An octagon has eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like a stop sign. A polygon is any closed shape with straight line segments for its sides. So, an octagon is a polygon because it's a closed shape that has straight line segments for its sides. A hexagon is a polygon. It's got straight line segments for its sides and it's closed. So is a pentagon, a triangle, and a square. They all have closed sides. Now our next video I'll discuss polygons with more depth, but right now I just want to discuss these basic shapes with you so that you can remember square, triangle, pentagon, hexagon, and octagon. Now there's lots of shapes. We could say a dodecahedron and all these other shapes are going to come out as you get farther in school. But right now we're just going to deal with these plain shapes right here that are flat on one level. There's no height to them. They just have sides. Okay? So those are flat plane shapes. We're going to discuss the polygons versus not polygons in the next video. See you there.